Hi there, Chase from High Level here, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to build webinar registration campaigns. So I have a webinar that I am ready to run next month for the first module of our lead gen playbook. So I need a way for people to register. And in this video, we're gonna actually learn how to build two ways. One, where people can register at a landing page by filling out a form. And then two, via a trigger link so that people that are already in our database can just click on one link and register themselves like that. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is go create a form. So I'm gonna head over to Sites Form Builder, and we are just gonna create a very basic registration form. So I'm gonna create a new form. First thing I like to do is go over to Options and give it a name so I don't forget. And we will call this Lead Gen Playbook Webinar 1 Registration. Um, I'm going to handle this on the landing page, so I'm not going to worry about the redirect there. Let me hit save, and then we'll go back to our fields. So I'm going to do first name, last name, email, and then button at the bottom. Click my button, change the text to say, we'll make it say register for this webinar. And then I like to make the button go all the way across the form. So that's essentially all I need to do. Maybe I'll come clean it up or make it look a little nicer later, but I have my form and that's what I need at this point. Okay, next I'm gonna go build my two pages that I need. So I need a registration page and a thank you page. So I'm gonna click into my funnel and I'm going to quickly go build those two pages. So give me one sec and I'll be right back. All right, so now I've got both my pages, my registration page here where people can fill out this form and then a thank you page here. And oops, I forgot to do one thing, which is redirect my form to my thank you page. So let's knock that out really quickly. It's definitely an important step to remember. So open my pop-up, select my form, and then my redirect action is going to be to go to the next step because my thank you page is the next step in the funnel. It might not be a bad idea to use the URL though in case somebody comes in behind me and builds a page in between for some reason. I already have the URL, so why not just go and use it? So I'll throw that in there and we'll hit save. Okay, so now I'm ready for an automation. So let's head over to the automations tab where we are going to build a workflow. I'm actually gonna use, there's a recipe down here that we can use called webinar registration confirmation and reminders. This should give us a good head start. So let's select that and click create new. And here we can see I already have the framework all set up for me, which is gonna save me a ton of time. So the first thing I wanna do is rename this. So I'm gonna click up here and we're gonna call this Lead Gen Playbook Webinar 1. Maybe I'll be more specific, confirmation and reminders. Great, so if we take a look at what our um, triggers are for this workflow, the first one is when a registration trigger link has been clicked. Now we haven't set that part up yet, um, but we have set this one up, the registration form submitted. So we just need to open this up and we need to specify which form we're talking about. So I'm gonna search my form and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save that. But before I do, I'm gonna be a little more specific because I like to be pretty clear about my labels. 
So I'm going to just say LGP web one registration form submitted and hit save and we'll see that that reflects there. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is set our event start date and time. This is important because it'll enable us to send emails before a certain amount of time in relation to that, uh, the date and time of our event. So I'm going to come in here and I am just going to set my date for my webinar, which is February 22nd. And this sub account is in Pacific time. So important to remember that. So one o'clock central would be noon mountain would be 11 a.m. Pacific. So go ahead and hit save there. And let me just double check that that's set. Um, 22nd at 11 a.m. Okay, great. Now, next up is my confirmation email. So I'm just gonna open this up and customize it. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and hit save. So there's my confirmation email. I'm gonna save along the way, never a bad idea. Next, we get a wait step until 24 hours before my start event start date and time. So this is gonna be a 24 hour reminder email. So now I just have to come in here and again, customize it. So this will be high level. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna copy this because it's probably gonna be the same in my next reminder. So I'm gonna hit save. Okay, great, that's my 24 hour. Then I'm waiting until one hour before and I'm sending another email. So let's customize this one again. Okay, so we've got this all customized. I'm gonna hit save there. Then we roll into a, another wait, and this wait is uh, waiting until 10 minutes before the start time. And so we've got one last email to customize. All right, so I've got my last email all customized. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save there. We're gonna save up top. And obviously you could continue this, right? But because you know that in 10 minutes, um, the webinar is gonna start, if maybe you wanna follow, send a follow-up email after, you could continue to add wait steps, more emails. And by the way, you could do this with text messages, of course, as well, right? So you could go ahead and add wait steps, text message steps, whatever you want in there. Um, but we're gonna keep it simple for today. And so now we just need to go create our trigger link so that we have the second way that folks can get into this webinar. So I'm going to hop over to email marketing, trigger links, go ahead and click links, and we are going to add a link. Now we're gonna call this Lead Gen Playbook Webinar One Registration. And you have to send it somewhere, right? So it's gotta go somewhere. And so we're gonna use our thank you page URL. So I'm gonna go grab that, paste that there, hit save. All right, now we can come back into our workflow. We'll do a hard refresh so that it recognizes that new trigger link. And then we're gonna go ahead and click our trigger link here. And again, we just have to specify what it is. So we should be able to do LGP, there it is. Um, LGP web one registration trigger link clicked go ahead and hit save save and should have actually hit publish first because you'll have to hit save again but now this is live so whenever somebody clicks that trigger link or whenever somebody fills out that form either way they're going to end up in this workflow which is going to set the event start date time and then send them reminders now, there's one other thing that I want to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a step here and I'm gonna create a tag. So I'm gonna do add a contact tag because it's always a good idea um, to use tags so that you can go find groups of people um, in the future in Smartlist if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and type a tag here and let's call it LGP webinar one registered. It's not in the system, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click add new tag, which will create it. And I'm gonna update my name to be more specific. So add LGP web one registered tag, save. Okay, great. So everyone who comes in is gonna get tagged that they registered, and now I can go find these folks if I need to later on. Don't forget to hit save and that's it, we're ready to go. So now what I would go do is I'm gonna go create an email in the email builder 
where the call to action is that trigger link. So anybody who's already in my database who wants to register for the webinar can just click the button. It'll redirect to the thank you page. Boom, they're registered and they will be in this workflow ready to go. So let's check out how to do that. I'm gonna hop over to email marketing and I'm gonna find an email template that I can just clone to save myself some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone this roundup and I'm going to call this lead gen playbook webinar one register. All right, I'm gonna open it up. And I'll just do, I'm not gonna build the whole email right now, but I'll just give you the important parts. So essentially we would want to replace this with an image. We'll go grab our image. And then we would have a call to action. So I'm just gonna go delete all of that after I finish recording this, but what matters for us is our call to action. So I'm gonna drop a button in here. And what I want the button to be is a trigger link. So for my URL, I can click this tag option here and I can scroll down to trigger links and then I can go grab that LGP trigger link that I created, webinar one registration. There we go. Now all I have to do is customize my button. So register for this webinar. Okay, great, I'm going to change the color to match our brand. And then I'm going to take my border radius up because I like circle buttons like that. And I'm good to go. So obviously I'm gonna go finish the rest of this email, but this is the most important part because what happens is if somebody clicks this, it's going to redirect to the thank you page and automatically add them to our registration webinar workflow that we just created and we are all set. So now I'm gonna send an e-blast out and register a bunch of people from my database. But for new folks, I have that landing page that I can send them the link, they can fill out the form, enter the database, and also get added to that same workflow. So that's how we build webinar registration campaigns in High Level.